day in, 24 hours a day, and day out, every day of the year, water keeps rushing in at these treatment plants across Los Angeles County. They're pumping out essential services you may wrinkle your nose at. We're treating wastewater. The Los Angeles County Sanitation Districts typically operate where the sun don't shine, maintaining 1,400 miles of sewers first dug with this shovel. We've always kept this. If you've never heard of the agency or its leaders. He was the first chief engineer. It's I because they have... don't seek headlines. We're okay that people don't know on a day-to-day -day basis what we're doing because that means we're doing our job. We're shining a brighter light on their work and general manager Robert Ferrante because they're doing more than sanitizing half of LA County's waste. They're advancing the world's largest water recycling program called Pure Water Southern California. It would clean and reuse water currently flowing into the ocean, producing 150 million gallons daily. How concerned are you about water resiliency here in Southern California? I mean, how much of this sense of urgency do you and your colleagues feel? Uh, we feel a lot of it. A lot of it came out of the last drought. That's why the sanitation districts are stepping up with regional partners to get pure water approved. They're joining forces with leaders, including Charlie Wilson, Charlie Wilson who heads the Southern California Water Coalition. Leveraging each other's expertise, leveraging each other's dollars. That's what the public expects from agencies like the Sanitation District, like the Metropolitan Water District. Metropolitan first inked an agreement with the Sanitation Districts in 2015 to create a regional recycled water program. Assistant General Manager John Bednarski says we can't afford to wait. There could be a future with water shortages, water rationing, water allocation plans. The solution may not be cheap. Pure water would cost ratepayers more than imported water. The project is slated to cost $8 billion, but its economic benefit to Southern California is estimated at $15 billion. It still needs public buy-in. I've noticed you're no longer calling it toilet to tap. It's not recycled water. It's not reclaimed water. It's purified water. Yes. We now have the technologies available to treat that water to a much greater level than before, and that's why we call it purified water. In fact, we have to put chemicals back into the water to allow it to be transported in the pipe safely because it is just so pure at that point. Public comment on a draft report examining the project's environmental impact will be accepted through July 14th. The response is incredibly positive. Our entire livelihood is dependent. So we need to do something now. If approved, this shovel, it's a great memento. ready to be reused, could break ground in a few years. Pure water could be online within a decade, keeping a finite but reusable resource flowing.